Hello guys, today we are going to discuss Northwest Territory in Canada and its immigration problems. The capital city of Northwest Territory is Yellow Knife and this is usually the city that you will see in the job postings. So this uh, territory has two streams. First one is a business stream and it is uh, for those of you who want to invest and open the business in this territory uh, but currently this program is under suspicion so today i will spend all my time explaining employer driven stream which is for those uh, foreign nationals who want to gain permanent residency in um, this territory so they are saying on their website government website the employer driven stream is for employers who want to hire and nominate foreign nationals when there are no Canadians or Canadian permanent residents available. This stream helps employers hire critically needed and skilled workers and help workers achieve Canadian permanent residency through three program categories. We will discuss a li little bit because I want to explain you who this program is for. Uh, then the question here, do you issue work permit? So they usually no, they don't issue. They say that they issue only to those of you who are already in Canada. But there is a paragraph that says this. If you are outside Canada, you are typically not eligible for a nomination. I'm reading from their website. In exceptional circumstances and depending on the employer's business case and operational circumstances, we may consider assessing your five for highly skilled occupations. So if you are outside of Canada, your highly skilled occupation um, employer for Yellow Knife wants to bring you in uh, Northwest Territory, he can apply for you and you might get the work permit. You know, in other cases, no. Uh, employers must consult with us regarding exceptional circumstances before submitting an application. So it's possible, but not, you know, usual practice. So usually they're hiring foreign nationals who are already in Canada and have work permit. It can be temporary foreign work permit. So if you have a wish after, you, let's say, you spend, you know, a year in Quebec, on a temporary foreign worker program and you have a wish you know to apply for uh, northwest territory you can prove that you worked you know you have a work permit uh, then you can apply you know uh, for permanent residency through one of the three uh, streams first is entry level and semi-skilled occupation second is skilled worker and third one is northwest express entry so i'm going to uh, talk about entry level semi-skilled uh, occupations to be eligible, foreign nationals must have worked full-time in the same position with the employer for six months and be in good standing with the requirements of their temporary foreign work, uh, uh, foreign work, sorry, foreign uh, work permit. Then, there is a minimum language requirement that ensures the foreign national is able to communicate in English or French. This requirement must be met at the time the application is made and proof of testing must be provided. So they are asking for IELTS on this program, which you will find, you know, everything in the link in the description box. I read recently comment on my other videos. They were like, you didn't provide any links. There are links, but if you're entering from the phone, you have to press, you know, the arrow, downward arrow or that looks like a drop down menu and then whole description box will open with a lot of text you know right a lot of text below the video so you can find all this by yourself okay so next category is going to be skilled worker category and just give me a second so skilled worker category helps employers attract Qualified individuals, if there are shortages of workers for jobs in the Northwest Territories that require formal education, specialized training, or both. So usually these are category, you know, 0 or A, um, A or B. To be eligible, foreign nationals must be able to demonstrate they have the training, experience, and education to fulfill the needs of the job description. The skilled worker must have one year of full-time experience in the relevant occupation. There is a minimum language requirement. Again, you have to prove that you speak English. Okay. So if you go on this uh, website, you will see, you know, there is nominee applicant form, employer application, skilled worker checklist, 
authorize a representative nominee, authorize a representative employer, is simple employment contract. So you have everything explained. I'm not going to read that because you can find everything by yourself. Again, the link is in the description box below. And the third most famous one is Express Entry. So uh, Northwest uh, Territory Express Entry category is for skilled workers who have a profile in the Express Entry system, a federal program. So you have to have already a profile, you know, in Express Entry with ex expedited ex application times for skilled individuals who want to work and live in Northwest Territory. Express Entry helps employers to secure skilled employees by fast-tracking applications for permanent residency. When approved by, the, uh, by, uh, by us, the candidate will receive 600 points within the Express Entry pool. To be eligible for Northwest Territory Express Entry, a foreign national must meet the following criteria. Be accepted into Immigration, Refugee and Citizenship Canada's Express Entry Pool. Have a profile registered in the Express Entry System. Have a Job Seeker Validation Code and meet the criteria of the Skilled Workers 3. For further information, you can check program guidelines. Again, I will leave the link in the description box. Again, here you have all these six, uh, six, um, uh, six uh, links under this category, so you can check nominee information, employer application, skilled worker checklist, authorize a representative nominee, uh, authorize a representative employer, and simple employment contract. So you can check everything on the website. So this uh, territory is really simple. There are two streams. If you remember, business stream is suspended and the second one uh, which is you know employer driven stream has three subcategories which I just explained. For further information if you are looking for the employment in this uh, territory please contact me but bear in mind that you have to have or have to be in Canada already and you have to uh, have a work permit in order to you know look for the job in this uh, territory. Uh, as you know, I have uh, social media profiles. I'm very active on Instagram, so please add me, add me on Instagram. And uh, you can write on my email, englishconversations26 at gmail.com. And there I will give you more information about employment in this territory. Thank you for watching me. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Uh, channel. Bye!